I am back in Wakefield. I have had a lovely weekend celebrating the Jubilee, which is the last vlog. Today I've had a study day at work, which luckily finished a little bit early, so I got here in plenty of time. It's actually my cousin's birthday today, so I've come up to enjoy a meal with the family, and then I'm gonna stay for a couple of days before I start work again. puppy dogs have been chasing my toes all afternoon. Haven't you puppies? Hi. Loki. Hi. I just got back from my mum's and this is what was waiting for me as I got in. I've been using Skin and Me for six months now but only the treatment which is the daily dose there which you use on a night. And last month they launched some brand new products. One is a cleanser and one is a moisturiser and they were giving it to all existing customers for free, which I thought was nice. So this is the cleanser, which is a cream to foam, which I'm used to using a foam cleanser, so I'm hoping I'll quite like this one. Um, and then they also released a moisturiser, which is this one. Um, and both of these use morning and night, so I'll be giving these a go over the next one to two months, and I'll update you with a little review, probably on the blog, but I might do a comment or two on the videos as well. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try them. I've not switched my moisturiser for years and years and years. The one I use at the moment is Olay Sensitive with um, SPF 30 in it. And the cleanser that I use, I switched between Clinique's um, Anti-Blemish Foaming Cleanser and Senegent's, um Oily 3-in-1 Cleanser. I can't remember the official name for it. Um, which is a little bit like a scrub. So I'm excited to give these a go. Did forget to say if you want to have um, try all these products for free, um, you just have to pay the three pound fifty um, like delivery and service charge because a actual pharmacist personalises the skincare based to your skincare needs basically. Um, so the discount code is Hannah S eight P Y P, um, and that gets you all three for three pound fifty, including delivery and service. I have got such a bad headache. I don't think it's quite migraine level, but um, I'm trying not to do too much today just so it's okay for the next few days at work because I'm working pretty much every day for the next Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, five days. Um, we were having some friends over today, but plans didn't quite work out. It is windy, but it is warm, so we're having a little barbecue in the garden. day today. I've had quite a busy morning. I've had three meetings. A research meeting, a work meeting and a um, sheer sense um, business meeting just because I'm trying to relaunch the sort of Hannah's Lips UK and um, just wanted a bit of an update with the team. That's all. So that was really good, really productive and then I've also edited a vlog, written a blog post and I still have a little bit more to do because I'm about a week ahead at the moment but I'm busy for the next two weeks so I'm wanting to get a bit further ahead. You can probably hear the washing machine going on in the background but I am about to head out to Woolerton and meet my cousin and her dog for a pub lunch. I just got back 
from the pub. The one that we were originally going to ended up not serving food today. I rang them just before we headed out and they said that they don't have um, enough chefs at the moment so that's why they are not doing food on Mondays or Tuesdays anymore. Which is a bit of a shame but anyway. Um, I'm now back as you can see. We went for a little walk around the village but didn't go to actual Woolerton Park this time. Um, just because Emma's having some phone calls this evening ready for the wedding but I'm seeing her on Friday anyway because it's her head party this weekend so I'm going to my hair is awful I am wearing it up which I never usually do on my day off but it is so greasy so I'll put some dry shampoo in it and it went all matted <laughs> so I had to put it up and um, so I'm gonna go and wash my hair I was trying to wait until Thursday just because I wanted it fresh for the hem party um, but I think what I'm going to do is potentially wash it when I get back on Friday because we're wearing helmets at the segways. So I'm not too sure what I'm doing but I'm going to have to wash it. So I'm going to go upstairs, wash my hair and then come downstairs and chill. Today is my birthday. It's an absolutely beautiful day. It's nearly 30 degrees outside. It's very very sunny. I've been at work today. I've just finished a couple hours early which is really nice. I'm um, supposedly to do some work on the project, my research project, um, but I have done quite a bit of it already and I'm just waiting for some figures so I'll have to catch up um, on the time that is owing to that in the future basically. Um, but today we did um, QSIR which is Quality Service Improvement and Redesign and we got a little certificate for it. So that has been what I've been up to today. I'm just going to open some presents. I'm hoping Luke's coming over soon and we're going to get a Domino's for tea. woken up yet but it's already 18 degrees so it's bloody boiling and um, we are heading off bright and early this morning we are going to do some segways for about an hour and then we're going to do a 4x4 driving experience as well and um, we're going to get mcdonald's on the way and i have to wear trousers for the segway so i'm wearing my leggings which aren't the thickest but i just think it's going to be too hot um, and then i'm taking a dress to change into in the car ready for the next and the rest of the day and then this afternoon i'm getting picked up from my house and i'm going to oxford for the weekend for my cousin's hen party we've just finished the segway events adventure experience they upgraded us from the 30 minute experience to the 60 minute experience which was quite good for free um because apparently we're the only ones on the 30 minute one so we got that addition for free we weren't allowed to take pictures on the segways because they had like professional photographers and I think I'm going to try and email later to get the digital link rather than the physical copies. Um, so we'll see what happens from that perspective. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, Luke recorded a few clips of me when I was having like a practice one, which was quite good. They had like the instructor to do a little one-on-one, -on -one, two-minute session per person. Um, and I was rubbish. But then I feel like I got a lot better. <laughs> and then we had like three races and I won all of the races. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Just not... Even though it's a 60 minute um, thing because you had like the practice and then the races, you only had like about 15 minutes off-roading, which was a bit of a downside, but I would definitely do it again.
and then go um, low a little bit. This clip is actually recorded a few days later because I'm sure I recorded the clip to sort of finish this part of the vlog, but I don't know if it's been deleted by accident or what, I can't find it. Um, so we did the segues, then we did the driving experience, which was nothing like I expected at all. It was literally, well, first of all, I was expecting a really long course to be quite difficult. Second of all, I was expecting to be alone, but we had an instructor with us the whole time. Um, and third of all, I was expecting it to be the full hour, because that's what we paid for. But literally, um, Luke and I took it in turns. We did one round the course each, and it was like five, ten minutes maximum each. Um, so yeah, definitely not worth £45. Would not recommend that at all. Um, anyway, after this vlog finished, we came back home had the rest of our dominoes from the previous night, I packed a suitcase and then Luke dropped me off at my cousin's house ready to be picked up to head to Oxford for a hen party. Um, I have split the vlogs up so if you want to see the hen party vlog stay tuned for next weekend and this is where I'm going to end this vlog. So thank you so much for watching, I'll speak to you next time, bye.